Okay. Okay, so here we are out in my garden, and um, this is on the last day of May, the 31st, May 31st, 2013. And once again, just showing the progress of how things are going here. I'm using little GoPro Hero 3s today to shoot, one in a medium view and one in a wide view. And so uh, this has been a project that's gone on about two years, this whole side yard over here, this garden that we've created. I'll pan around hopefully fairly slowly so you can see how it looks. The fire pit over there, still working on it, still got some, probably about two truckloads of rock to put on that. And uh, we'll be finishing that soon. But all over here, the blueberries, the uh, garden growing areas, which that one's getting a little weedy now, we'll have to hoe it where the uh, sweet potatoes are on the right. And those two raised beds, none of that was here. This was all yard just uh, two years ago. And started with the one that's blocked, the, uh, the raised bed that's blocked. And got the stuff from Lowe's. Realized that's gonna be pretty expensive. It was pretty expensive, but it turned out really nice and we grew a great garden last year with that. But then this year decided we'd try the uh, the, the uh, timbers over there, the railroad ties. And that has worked really well. I really like my timber tie uh, raised bed. All these grapes and stuff here, we just put those, the ones that are on the ground here, and they're just starting, Nikki's just now starting to string them up so they can climb. You can see one over there to the right that's uh, starting to climb. The asparagus has done awesome. This is the second year. We have some baby asparagus here. We're just letting start grow. And so they're just now starting to come up. Hopefully we'll have about a 12 foot asparagus bed at some point. So, but that's been in the ground now. This is the second year. So it's one year and probably a couple months old. And we're just letting it fill out and grow. Next year we'll start eating from it. Onions are looking great. The flowers are in here. Uh, for those of you who subscribe or have seen any of my videos, the flowers are here because uh, Nikki does what's called companion gardening. And those flowers are supposed to help keep bugs and stuff away. And I gotta say, so far so good. Now we're just in the, at the end of May getting ready to go into June. So we haven't seen the bug explosion yet. I have the hose laying out here on the ground, but you can see how kind of how the rest of everything else looks. So all this gravel has been recently put down and that was quite a bit of work. But this is how things are going. Um, I'm gonna walk down the middle of my little bed here. I kind of did this this way because I wanted to use the native soil and I did. So there's the mixture of soil that's to the left and right of me right now is a mixture of native, some uh, river area soil or some floodplain soil that I bought and miracle Grow. kind of mixed it all together. And I wanted to have an in the ground garden. Boy, this one does need weeding. I'll come out here today and weed it. And it's kind of cool uh, just to have a nice little in ground garden that still is semi raised and separated off from all the weeds and crabgrass and stuff like that. And so this is serving really well, I think. It's good and deep. It's probably the soil's been worked down to about 14 inches. So the sweet potatoes, which I just, I just turned my back on them now, but they're gonna grow really well and really deep, I think, down in there. The new eggplant, I can't wait for that to start producing some eggplants. We've got a little bunch of little peppers and stuff here. But here it is. And we'll go walk around some of the areas with the uh, flowers and stuff too, just for the heck of it. Nikki thinks I don't love the flowers because I like to work in the vegetables, but that could not be farther from the truth. I like the flowers too. The areas with most of the flowers are around the sides of the house. This is a, uh, she's done all this. I've done really none of the flowers. And so she's got foxgloves and little wildflowers and, um, you know, roses, the tea roses and creeping roses that go on the ground and stuff. A lot of the uh, bushes and stuff was here when we bought the house. I love the river birch tree here. This rose here has been trimmed back a little bit. This rose, uh, mo almost all the roses here bloom up until Dece to December, almost till Christmas. So they're just fantastic. They go through little cycles, I guess. That stuff there, I think, is really cool looking. 
I'm gonna go over here to the uh, Japanese maple for a minute because I'm trying to shoot some uh, some dark areas to show how Protune works with a GoPro Hero 3. So I'm gonna shoot kind of into the darkness here where all the little uh, limbs are hanging over in the Japanese maple. Love the Japanese maple trees. We've got, I think, four or five of them. And they're becoming quite sizable. These bushes here just separate us from the road. And the, you know, the road, just, it's not a very busy road, but there's a road that runs about 45 feet in front of the house. So let's go around the side here. Let's do the rest of the yard while we're at it. There's my old Ford F-150. Had it since 1998. We'll cut through here right quick. I show a lot of that side garden, but never show much of this yard. And it's a pretty big yard. I uh, have an old John Deere used lawnmower that my VP uh, sold me. What a blessing that has been because this yard used to take about an hour and 45 minutes to mow. Let's go in here and just check out the peach tree, see if we got any little fuzzy peaches starting to grow. Looks like I've got a pear tree that's dying over there to the right. It's too bad. It got some sort of blight or something. The other pear's doing okay though. I'm thinking this peach does not have peaches on it, but this one does. Yep. I don't know if you can see that, folks, but there's a cool little fuzzy peach right in there. Several of them growing, which is kind of cool. I've got some trees with some good apples starting to grow this year. Got a fig in the ground over here. So the fig is kind of... I think going to be one of my favorite plants. Figs grow seem to be pretty well here in uh, Burke County where I live on Mineral Springs Mountain. That's a little apple tree. Some of the apple trees are putting forth some apples like this one. The other ones are not. There's some little apples growing on this guy. I think this is a gala. So I'm going to have a few this year. been trimming this tree here because it went kind of crazy for a while got to pick those limbs up bird feeders once again maybe this will be a nice way to show the uh, shading Look up here where it's a little darker no sunshine show these roses these are the bargain bin roses that Nikki bought She's been treating them with some sort of spray, sulfur type spray or something. She bought these when they were just, uh, like I say, on the bargain. This one right here, I think she bought it for two bucks. It's turned into one of the nicest roses in her whole garden. So there, that's how that looks. It's kind of the view from our porch. And back down towards Charlotte, that's the, the notch we cut out of the piece of land I bought below us. It's about another acre of land down there. And yeah, on our clear morning, you can see Charlotte, the big buildings and stuff on the horizon. It's, it's very hazy this morning though. Here's the look back. That's our monument. <laughs> okay, so that's the little home tour uh, for today. Let's go down and take a look at the bees. I thought it was pretty interesting that my wife would be interested in bees. In fact, a beehive is what she wanted for her, our anniversary. And I like honey, so I said, sure. So my dad, who's a beekeeper, you can watch some of those videos on the uh, channel if you just look for the playlist, it's about bees. My dad's a beekeeper and he said he would gladly help her get started with bees. And so look at those little guys go. I'm gonna leave them alone because I don't want to aggravate them. <coughs>
this area here will all be a nice square area eventually that hopefully grass will not grow up through so I'm putting down some fabrics and things and we'll have a nice place to sit with chairs the other figs are out here these in the ground are two different varieties that we have and hopefully they're gonna perform really well so once again we've got a medium and wide view of our little garden shooting in protein and non-protein versions and we'll see how what kind of difference that makes when I go into my editing software as far as color correction ability to saturate and bring uh, stuff out of shadows happy gardening everyone <laughs>